Hey, what's the top top five video on the channel? And today we're doing 100 days at 1.18. And you might be wondering, how in the world is this possible? 1.18 hasn't come out yet. However, there is an update for 1.18, aka the snapshot. And the snapshot for 1.18 is amazing. I have a video on it right there in the top right corner. Go click on that video. And uh, yeah, aside from that, guys, make sure to subscribe. When I was doing, or when I was deciding on doing this 100 days thing, I was thinking to myself, Damn, a hundred Minecraft days. Imagine how long that is. Like one Minecraft day is 20 minutes long. So that means that a hundred days would be 2,000 minutes long. Do you know how much 2,000 minutes is? That is 33.33333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333
Now I wonder, are there any villages nearby? Because if there's a village nearby, I can probably, probably, you know, set up a shop there, or at least, you know, get some, some get some stuff from them. So far, looking like it's going to be a dead end for the cave. The caves and cliffs update also has bigger height limit and bigger caves. So if I hit F3, obviously I'm at um, 64. Um, why? However, that doesn't take into consideration of the deeper parts, at least from my understanding. So we have to go a lot further down than I normally would, and yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a pain, but it will all work out eventually. There is a lot of water ravines. I don't know why, but as you can see here, this ain't no water ravine. That is a genuine ravine and dripstone caves. That is another thing with this update. The ore chunks are more frequent, but they come in less size, less sizes. They come with less ores in them. So they'll only come in like, like pieces of one, two, three, maybe four, unless I get a lucky chunk and get like, you know, a nice five or six. And this goes with all ores, especially diamond, which I'm pretty sure mostly only come in ones. This will be a lot more difficult because of situations like that where I only have the ability of getting one diamond per ore vein. They essentially made it a lot more difficult to get iron. And not to mention, mobs spawn a lot more considering that there's more open space. So overall, this just makes Minecraft a little bit more difficult, but at the same time, you know, it's a nice, fun challenge. Also, I'm getting shot by a skeleton, and that is not very cool. So I got my first eight pieces of iron, so that's going to take up one chunk of coal. We have our first baby chicken encounter with an iron sword. That is really relatively lucky, and also a very bad omen for what is to come. Bad omen because who in the world sees a baby zombie with an iron sword? Okay, well, he didn't drop his iron sword. I was hoping that he would, but, you know... It's fine, I don't need your little puny dagger anyways. Now, obviously, the number one priority right now for me is getting a shield. Why? Because skeletons are gonna spawn a lot more often and skeletons are my main threat to my life. And then I'll create my first set of armor, which is the iron chest plates. And obviously, the main enemy of skeletons are themselves. Ow, God damn it! And already, look at that, guys. More skeletons that's already spawned to replace the ones that are already died. Now, this is interesting, guys. We're at Y13. Y13, guys. But take a look down there. That is clearly more beyond Y13. Now, my main question, do diamonds still spawn around Y15? Or do they spawn even deeper? Regardless, this is the time where I need to get myself an iron pickaxe out. So far, my biggest ore chunk has been three. And this is my first ore chunk here that is, what, six? Yeah, there's a lot of water caves. And oh, that's an axolotl. That's an axolotl, guys. I completely forgot how to tame axolotls. Like, I, I genuinely forgot how to tame them. All right, so even though I have enough for full iron, I'm gonna go for tools first and get the helmet later. Now, I'm gonna do a test real quick. So there's a little spike down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, wow! At a regular height, that does nothing. But check this out. One and a half hearts with this armor. And it looks like it doesn't even affect the armor. If what I'm understanding is true, drip stone caves are going to be the death of me if I'm not careful. And I think we're on day three. All right, so we're on day three now. We're still in the cave, mining even deeper within this cave. Now, once again, I completely forgot the warden is in this. I don't think it is though. So I don't need to worry too much about, you know, okay. I need to go back up because going down through there is basically stupid. I'm gonna use the last bit of my oak to smelt up this stuff. Overall, just exploring down through that cave. I don't believe that it's just 
right to go down to that cave, especially not knowing what, what awaits me down there in terms of the amount of mob spawns, the amount of like difficult things I would encounter. Without having a proper spawn set after I die, it just is, it's too risky at the moment. So I wouldn't have to maintain my progress and just move on. All right, so there's a village off in the distance, so I'm going to do the following. First off, kill off all the sheep within the nearby area so, so that they can have a cut off food supply. Second, loot the village and we'll move on from there, I guess. The best part of villages, in my opinion, aside from the, you know, the villagers, the village trades and whatnot, the iron golem protection and all that jazz, the best part about villages in general is just the fact that they have free wheat lying around. Now, I don't see that. Oh, here it is. Okay, thank God. Now, here's a bed to set my spawn and make it the next day. Dude, the amount of food that I'm getting from these, these village chests. Just profiting off of their labor, you know what I'm saying? Just profit off of their labor. Alright, so this village is awesome. I like this village a lot, and I think I might build my base here. And yes, I know I said I make a base in the Lofty Peaks, but I have to make do with what I have. And what I have is a village that is very basic without a blacksmith. Now, just because I said I'll make a base doesn't mean that I'll make it a good base, considering that it's going to be a temporary little base just so that I can have some place to store some stuff. Okay, just dump some of the crap that I currently don't need at the moment. Cook some of the food, like, bro, I have a lot of food to cook. I actually just did not get a lot of coal, so I need to go get more coal. But aside from that, yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff that I wanted to put inside here. Okay, so um, I don't know what I was doing. I was going AFK and I completely forgot what I was doing. It's still day like what? Day four, it's still day four. It's just that I completely forgot what my objective was. It's 1,300 by negative 4,000. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna get that just to remember where this place is. And I think I'm off. You know, I need to go find the Lofty Peaks. Lofty Peaks, that's what it was. I'm trying to figure out like the best way of going about finding the um, Lofty Peaks. I guess it's just simply traveling, but I mean, should I stay near hills? Like, is there like a higher chance of it spawning if I stay near like a hilly biome? Because I know for a fact that if you stay near a desert biome, you have a high chance of finding an acacia biome next to it. Because it's in, it's a part of that arid, it, it's a part of that arid biome, I guess, section? Question mark? By the way, I don't know if you guys, or I don't know if I said this already, but um, the river biomes, well, I guess the rivers, I don't know why I said river biome, but the river is just look a lot better. <laughs> oh my god! That scared the crap out of me! I just see like a little baby thing running at me. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep on like, keep on um, traveling until I find a, uh, a lofty peaks. But occasionally I'll have to like do things like, for example, mine. Because if I can't find the lofty peaks biome immediately, I should have just continued searching for the biome. Plus, I might run into other things along the way. Like, if I run into a desert, I'll try to find a temple, of course. I'm just set on the idea that I should probably build a base in a 1.18 biome. And the best one to do it in is just the Lofty Peaks. The moon is about to set, and our journey will continue in the fifth day. And I see a ruined portal. I could probably even turn this into... Oh, that's a trident. Oh, God. Smite five. Oh, my God. Damn it. Like, there, there we go. That's a portal right there. So I can, first off, mine the gold. And in the fifth day of our adventure, I can go to the nether. However, there is a slight issue that I unfortunately have. And that is the fact that. One of the things I left was the flint and steel. I don't know why I decided to leave that, but I guess I left it behind. So that is unfortunate. However, I don't know. It just feels too early to go to, to the, the nether. Plus, if I can find the lofty peaks and make a base, I feel like that's a higher priority. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see something off in the distance. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I may have found it. Maybe? That has to be it. Is that it? Is that the Lofty Peaks? That might be the Lofty Peaks. 
No way that this is a meadow. Hang on a second. Meadow? Meadow. I'm lost. I thought this was a lofty peaks. Well, it is a meadow biome, so I guess I can, like, build a base here, but... Meadow? When I viewed meadow, it showed me, like, a small patch of land, so I guess maybe I, I just didn't see, like, a proper meadow biome. Ooh, that is tempting. I see a mine shaft. Okay. I might actually stop here just to mine in this mine shaft. Okay, I found a, a chest here. Glowberries? Cool. Crap. Okay, I'm running from running from running from running from for it. Okay, this cave's huge. I went from diamond. Okay, yep. Um. Frick! Are you sure? I are you? I are you? I are you? I I'm sorry. <laughs> we. <sighs> That's like so per diamond. Okay. There's another diamond right there. That is like the perfect freaking. Oh my god! Okay, there we go. We got some skeletons shooting each other. This is scary. Okay. Diamonds. There's a slime chunk. I would have two diamonds, but I was an idiot and decided to mine it when a creeper tried to blow me up, bruh. Okay. Give me that. No cave sounds, please. I don't even want to deal with you right now. Diamond. We have another diamond here. Two diamonds. Oh, here's another one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay, wait. I need to dip because I'm about to drown. Also, I've noticed that the map no longer shows, like, the landscape. You know, it doesn't show, like, oh, so the map is showing this land right here, that land right there. The X is, oh, God, the dolphin scared the crap of me. Yeah, it, it, it just overall doesn't show the actual light of the land. Oh, well, I guess that's spot on. Okay, fine. Oh, that is actually surprisingly helpful. Hang on a second. What in the world? What biome is this? Oh, that's a ma- that's, um, not maze. It's a savanna. No, it still says desert. Okay, so I guess it's just a part of the But then why is that a regular village? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it spawned mostly in the plains biome. Oh, wait a minute. I, I was complaining about my lack of food, but then I had a village, so... You stay there. I'm also going to um, semi-spawn here and also uh, sleep in one of the beds because the problem is if I don't sleep at all, then um, phantoms are going to spawn and I'm not quite sure I'm ready to deal with a bunch of flying dudes. The longer I don't sleep, the more the phantoms will come, so I'm not ready for that. Alright, so this is the meadows biome again. You know, I might just have to set up with this biome. It's not a bad thing, because of how crazy this looks, question mark. Sometimes these don't, these don't spawn with, like, any chests, because they kind of, like, I guess, get glitched into the freaking wall. And so, like, the mountain kind of takes the place of the actual chest, which seems to be the case here. Oh, no! Look at that! Okay, it worked. Lofty Peaks! Wait a minute, this is a Lofty Peak! Oh my god, it's a Lofty Peak! Alright guys, we have found Lofty Peak! Oh my god! Hey guys, we it looks like we found Lofty Peak! Dude, Lofty Peaks, look at this! Look at how crazy this looks! Honestly, best biome, my favorite biome is now Lofty Peaks, man! It's just so crazy how high you're up. And then Snowy Slopes just compliments the Lofty Peaks. Oh, uh, I left the oak. I, I just realized something. I left the dark oak saplings back at the base in the freaking village. You know, maybe I shouldn't have done that. That was so stupid. But yeah, now I have a new location. Where I should have, I just realized I should have brought in that bed from the village as well. Ah, so many things I've done wrong, miscalculated. 
Mainly because I didn't expect me to find the lofty peaks for some time until apparent. <gasps> what? What is happening? What was that? Oh! Uh, I'm sorry, what? Oh, I see it. I see the slight difference. Okay, so this right here is bad snow. This right here is good snow. Okay, so I can tell the difference. It's just that I need to be very careful because it's a subtle, subtle difference. Wow, that is scary though. Like, playing this for the first time with that, that is kind of like scary for, the, for a good bit. But then now that I know how to like counteract it, I think I'm good. I, I really don't want to use the dark oak because I I like I, I don't I really don't want to use up too much of it considering that I just realized now that I have a limited yeah screw it I'm going out and mining the freaking trees over here okay so I'm actually back at my uh, base here with the wood and I actually just quickly took a look at like what that was the powdered snow thing and um, yeah so apparently yeah that is a 1.17 update or uh, a part of the 1.7 update, but I was so confused because I never seen it before, and I didn't realize this until now. But damn, it really works very well on like mountains, like the snowy peaks. So my idea is to just go across here with logs. However, I kind of want to go as low as possible so I can like have more room. You know, is, is this good? Um, ah, uh, that might be a little too higher high up higher up sure okay so from here on it's just going to be a, like, like, like a nice platform here but i don't know exactly what to make the platform out of i was thinking dark oak but that's going to take a long time to get the wood so I'll, I'll just make it cobblestone i think now this is going to be a very awkward angle because as you can see it's more of a diagonal than anything else so I guess I have to go with like, so like, go from there, kind of start making that curve. So it's going to be one, two, I might, I might have to fix this later because it kind of looks a little weird, but that looks okay it's just that i don't want to look make it look too awkward with one side being super long the other side being super short but i guess that's kind of that's kind of how the mountain is so i kind of have to go with it right okay whatever i guess we'll just go with this kind of curve it's not you know perfect i think it's just it's good enough for what the mountain's giving us because I'm mainly basing it off of like the mountain's curve and it's not really that easy considering how awkward the curve is to begin with. Okay, um, I guess we can like mine out uh, oh, this little roof area here. Mainly so that I can have the roof at least on a similar level all around here. And I won't just be mining like a random place. I can just like kill two birds with one stone, essentially. Now, here's another question that me, myself, and I have. Should I trim out this section of the roof or should I leave it? I think I'm going to make almost the entire roof the same size. At this moment in time, I don't think it matters too much, considering that I just need something, you know, just something. And monsters only spawn in complete darkness now. So what that means is that mobs won't be spawning too often here as long as there's like some torches here. So if I can have like a flat platform, plop some torches down, there you go. We have a basic house or a basic place to live. I wouldn't call this a house just yet. Uh Oh, I see him. It's only one of them, no, it's two of them, okay. Three of them. They're coming towards me. Voluntary exile. <sighs> okay, I'm plopping down some torches. Um, maybe we can push this back, like, a bit. Cause that, that's a bit of a curve. This is a bit of a awkward angle. Um, so maybe that's a, a thing I can consider. And 
And aside from that, the day is about to end very soon. So I'm going to have to... Oop, okay. Oh, pickaxe broke. Okay. There we go. And then eventually it's going to get night time. I'm going to move my chest and whatnot inside. Clear up my inventory. Put it in my chest. And we will work from there. Chest down. Uh, dump like... I have a lot of stuff that I don't need right at this very moment, so... Yeah, I guess I'll just dump everything in, right? Still need the cobblestone. And then there we go. Calling it a video right here. As you can see, hit F3. Day 10. There we go. So, day 10, everyone. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. Oh, well, the first part of this 10-part series. So um, make sure to subscribe for more of this. And um, other than that, thank you guys so for watching. If you liked the video, like the video, want to subscribe, hand so subscribe. And remember to be as obvious as possible. <laughs> I'll see you guys next video. Take care and good.